Okay. Hello guys, good evening. Good evening, teacher. Okay, let's go. Good evening, teacher. Okay, guys, one moment, please. Okay, I have some questions for you. Um, let me see you in one moment. I don't know, guys, how you feel. Solo son, solo son dos. Sí, ahorita solo son dos. Bueno, para mientras con ustedes, how do you feel right now as with this, uh, I don't know, with all of this that we have been, we have just learning? Todo lo que hemos estado aprendiendo. I don't know if you have any questions or if it's something difficult for you or if it's something hard that you can't understand really well. And you could just please let me know. Por favor, hámelo saber. So something similar, I don't know. Isael, Tania. Yes, teacher, but I don't remember what it is. No, I went to look something. Okay. Uh, let me know for it. Okay. El resto de los chicos no han venido. Qué raro. Uh, Isael, what about you? Isael, neither. Okay. If it's not, I'm just going to share the screen then. I think that I have problems with neither either and two that part I, I think that is that uh, where I have problem in the I don't know do you think in the platform <laughs> mm -hmm. I see okay because uh, I have a part where I couldn't pass and I think that was. I see. Okay. Either and either. Um, what else? ¿Qué otros? Se están conectando más. Let me see. Okay. Good evening, Lorena. Good evening, Jesli, Michelle. Okay. So we we're talking about, estamos hablando que si puede mencionar all of this. Um, during all of this level, if you have any doubts about everything that we just have learned, de todo lo que hemos visto y hemos practicado aprendido, okay? Because I don't know if you guys, you already noticed that you must have the 80%, tienen que tener el 80% en sus ponderaciones al menos, se les mandó como un comunicado, in order that you do not uh, lose this, I mean, you can continue with uh, English classes para continuar de manera adecuada con las clases de inglés. Okay. I don't know, guys, if you have any questions or something now that todo lo que han visto. Yes? I think we have to practice too much, to practice more, but, but it's, it's okay. Perfect, okay. Who else? Okay, one moment, please. Vamos a hacer algo. One moment. 
Okay, what about the tenses? Mere, no, what about the tenses? ¿Cómo van con los tiempos? Hello, guys. Okay, you told me. Uh, I watch, yes. Okay, perfect. You told me that is practice, right? Yeah. Okay, perfect. Now, I think that I'm where she's going to practice them. Let me see. What about the tenses? ¿Cómo se sienten con los tiempos? Mm -hmm. Ok. A mí, a mí me cuesta el presente perfecto. Present perfect. Excellent. Oh, a mí aquí. igual. Ok, present. Ok, perfect. I'm sorry. Perfect. Ok. Let's go and just do go with it then with the present perfect okay one moment please present perfect Tough. let me see eh, vieron el material que les mandé por cierto guys i couldn't no, teacher, estaba en parcial. Really? I was at the hospital. I had a, a friend in the hospital and I was. I couldn't. Okay, let's go to see the present perfect. Okay, a petición de la compañera. Snipping. Okay, who else? Aparte del present perfect, who else? Mm -hmm. Creo que eso es okay, at this moment, I'm just going to show you recently. Okay, there you go. And to this document. Okay, perfect. And what about with the models? Que de los models? When I must know, yeah. Maybe con which croquera? Model. Los models could shoot. It's Syria. But primero vamos a ver present perfect for one moment. I was just going to share my screen. Might, perdón. Ah, might, okay. <laughs> okay, si sí, es el que vimos recientemente con el otro grupito. Share my screen now. Can you see my screen? No. No? no. Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Excellent. Now, Anna, could you please read present perfect? Well, actually, I'm going to read this. Okay. Uh, have this. It says that the present perfect, we have to notice that British and American English have different rules. Tienen diferentes reglas gramaticales. Okay, the explanation and exercise referred to the British English is acceptable to use past simple in some of our examples. ¿En qué momento? ¿Cómo lo utilizamos? We use the present perfect. Anna, continue, please. We use the present perfect when we want to look back from the present to the past. Uh, we can use is to look back on the re recent, recent past. Mm -hmm. I've, been, I've been broken my watch, so I don't know what time is, what time is it. They have can canceled this meeting. She is taking my copy. I don't have one. The sales team has doubled its turnover. 
Okay. Uh, please repeat with me. Let me see. Canceled. Canceled. Okay. Now, they have canceled. They have canceled. Excellent. They, they have, have canceled. canceled. Okay. Excellent. They have canceled. Now, meeting. 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 Excellent. Very good. Now. Um, okay. Something. Now, ¿qué dice aquí? It says we can use it, no precisamente para ver, ¿verdad? It says it says to look back on the recent past, un pasado reciente. For example, it's just an example, guys. I've eaten, I eaten fiesta snack two hours ago. Okay? And now I don't know why I feel a stomach ache. That might be because I ate that. Okay, I've eaten. Okay, me comido. So I feel that right now. I have a stomach ache. Okay, they have canceled the meeting. Okay, you have studied today. You have worked today. Han estudiado o han trabajado el día de hoy. We're talking about a recent past. Hoy sucedió esto. Okay? It's something that recently happened. I've been... Well, eso sería pasado continuo. Pasado presente con el estilo. Okay? But it's just something in the past. Y dice que uno de los usos puede ser para que lo podemos ver. Alguna mirada en pasado presente con el pasado, no piensen todo el tiempo que la palabra presente tiene que ver que es un tiempo presente exacto y que no es un perfecto exacto, por favor ok, now it says also when we look back on the recent past ok ¿qué sucede después? Eh, Michelle, continue reading we often watch just and ready and the word yet in narrative, in narratives and question on only. <laughs> Excellent. Continue, 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 please. Reading the examples. Okay. You've been really talking, talking about that. She hasn't arrived yet. I've just done it. They've already met. Or met. They don't know yet. Have you spoken to him yet? They have they got back to 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 you yet? Okay, oh Joaquin. It says we oh, we often, no siempre, but frequently, pero frecuentemente or often, we use just and already. Okay? Or the word yet in negative. ¿Por qué? Porque she hasn't todavía no ha. Recuerde que el have y el has. Es como que tuvieran un A. Ah, I haven't eaten today. No he comido el día de hoy. Ok. I haven't eaten today. Or I haven't eaten yet. Por eso que el yet no, todavía no he comido. Por eso dice in negative. Un question solid, right? Ok. They have already met. ¿Por dónde sé que they have? Because contraction, esta es la contraction that they have. Dave, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Dave already met. Ya se conocieron, brother. They don't know yet. Negative form. Well, teacher, what mean yet uh, finish uh, the sentence? Todavía. Oh, Todavía. Oh, oh. Mm -hmm. Thank you, teacher. No problem. It can also, Tania, it can also, it can also be used to look back to the more recent past. Okay. One moment, please. Okay. Once again, try, please. It can also be used to look back on the more distant past. We have been to Singapore a lot of 
over the last few years. Uh, she's done this type of project many times, many times before. We have mentioned, mentioned no, sé cómo se dice. Okay, no problem, no problem. Okay. It today on several occasions over the last six months. They have often talked about it in the past. Okay, talk about it, okay. Puedo ser utilizado siempre en el pasado, chicos. To look back on the more distant past. They have or they often talk about it in the past. Siempre hablan de eso. We have mentioned it. Ya se lo hemos mencionado a ellos, ¿verdad? Tu name. Ya se lo hemos mencionado on several occasions over the last six months. Ya se lo hemos, hemos mencionado en demasiadas ocasiones durante los uh, últimos seis meses. ¿Ok? Estamos hablando de un futuro, de un pasado lejano. Como se los dije, como lo detectamos, ya leemos, ya lo ha. Ah, ok. It's not the same to say, me lo comí, de lo he comido. Yes, I have in it. Yes. Ok. I have done. Ya lo he hecho. Ok. Básicamente sí se ocupa para un pasado, pero es como un pasado que ya terminó, pero lo podemos comparar como el día de hoy. Ok. Uh, I have eaten. Y siguen continuando con la oración. He comido. Ta, ta, ta. Or I have eaten yet. O sea, I have not eaten yet. You can come. Yes. And eat with me. Or just have a dinner with me. Ok. No he comido. Puedes tener una cena conmigo. It's just an example. Then it says when we look at the model, yes. I, we often use ever. For example, have you ever, alguna vez en toda tu vida, básicamente, have you ever, yes, have you ever visited, uh, what? Have you ever visited Toledo? Have you ever visited Filipinas? Have you ever, ustedes me pudieran haber dicho anteayer, Teacher, have you ever visited El Pital? And I could say like, no as I remember, alguna vez ha ah, visitado. Because yesterday I went to El Pital, by the way. Lo conocí bien bonito. So, have you ever, alguna vez, okay? Or have you gone, ha ido, yes? Have you gone to Puerta del Diablo? Ahí va la Puerta del Diablo. It's just an example, right? So, that's the uses of have. Esos son los usos del have. Now, if I ask you some question, for example, uh, Carla, have you ever learned English before? ¿Alguna vez has aprendido inglés anteriormente? Have you ever learned English before? Carla Maria? Yes, I have. Okay. Yes, I have or yes, I have learned English before. Excellent. Very good. Sí, okay. había aprendido, había aprendido. Excellent. Questions? Les envié recientemente. La PPT, ¿verdad? No sé si tuvieron el tiempo para verla. Guys. No, teacher. No la han visto. Ok. No, teacher. No la envío, tranquilos. Ok. So, voy a explicar cómo los he puesto, los divido acá, los seis tiempos básicos para toda conversación for any quest, for any um, what? One moment, please. Conversation. Okay, so if you pay attention, si nos forzamos a poner atención, aquí nos detenemos. 
The six tenses, los seis tiempos que tenemos, estos básicos son para cualquier conversación. Yo le llamo el simple, el progressive o continuous, ¿verdad? And the perfect. Simple because we have simple present, simple past, and simple future. ¿Ok? Tenemos los progressive o continuous, que es present progressive or continuous or past progressive. ¿Ok? And we have also the perfect. ¿Cuál es la diferencia acá? ¿Cuál es nuestro auxiliar aquí? Uy, no, 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 I'm sorry. Forget about this one. Just, we're just going to leave it like simple. Así lo vamos a dejar. Okay, in the progressive song, was and where? Be, verb to be. Mm -hmm. And on this one, was and where? Or was I in you? Excellent. And the perfect. Uh, uh, in the verb in past in, in participle. Yes, I was just simply thinking about it. Present perfect. One moment, please. Present perfect, and we use. ¿Qué utilizamos acá? How or have. Excellent. One moment, please. And the simple present, what do we use? Going to? Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, yeah. Do that. Mm -hmm. The simple past? Did. Did. Uh, was. The simple future? Wait. Well. Or two. going to. A moment. Okay, so what I was just showing you to before, creo que lo más bonito que se lo pueden aprender es así, that it's six, three simples, que de verdad estamos utilizando frecuentemente, that exists two progressive, that will be using for constantly, and that is the present perfect, okay? Now, how are you going to use it? There you go. I sing a song. Yes, for example, this is for the simple present, ¿verdad? Como no hay otra cosa que conjugar. It's just like a sings and third person, remember to add a DS. Para que ocupamos el simple present. ¿Quién se acuerda de la explicación que les di la vez pasada? That, after the moment. I will do, you do it. Okay. And okay, it's exactly yes. Could you please give me an example? Let me see, yes, Lee. Um, with a simple present. Um, Repeat, teacher. Do you have any apples? Okay, you know what? Vamos a hacer lo siguiente. 
could you please just uh, let's do unas cosas uh, ahí en internet se las pasé por WhatsApp le tuvieron un tiempo de verla quiero que si es posible me haga un one sentence in the past yes and one sentence in the future si pueden hacerme los seis tiempos para ver cómo está sería mejor verdad the one yes in the past and future the past past Okay. Could you please just start doing the exercise para darme un ejemplo de cada uno, verdad? I'll try with you guys. Entonces, su tiempo, tranquilos. Mis teacher, ¿cuándo mandó la imagen? Eh, esto se los mandé ya, ¿no? Mis, ¿Sí? este, no he entendido bien qué es lo que vamos a hacer. Ah, un ejemplo de cada uno. De... De los tres, simple, progressive, and perfect, o solo las tres definiciones del simple? Well, actually, I would like just to get three examples. No sé de tener tres ejemplos, ¿verdad? Pero sí, uno de cada uno. Mm -hmm. Yes, please. Okay. Tómese su tiempo, chicos. ¿Cómo vamos, chicos? Teacher, yes. my my example. Simple. I have a new job. And progressive. I'm starting my homework. And simple. I go into the park. Oh, I'm doing Okay, you told me in the simple, I'm going to the park. Is that correct? Yes. Okay. No, no, it's okay. It's just no worries. I'm going to yes. 
bueno, depende de cómo lo quiera utilizar. I'm going to the park. Puede haber sido más que todo en el contexto simple, right? What about the past? ¿Tiene alguno del pasado? I did go to the park. Mm -hmm. Excellent. Okay. I, did, I did go, teacher. No, eso lo quieres corregir exactamente. Porque es, eh, eh, go es when, en paz. No, 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 just for done. Dijeron ahí, I did go. Ok. So, a no ser, it's just, if it says in the negative, I did not, would be different, right? But we have different uses also. Ok. So it says that if you, or will they talking about simple past, the only pasado is just simple, right? Perdón, perdón. It is not, no está hablando en el, sim, en el simple past, I'm sorry, no presente. It is talking about the simple past, un pasado tal cual. Es alguna acción que ya se cerró, que no hay vuelta atrás, que no la estoy narrando, ¿verdad? For example, did you eat uh, tacos today? Ok, si he comido tacos. Uh, ok, uh, siempre con el did or did not. Y aquí está el ejemplo. I sang a song. ¿Por qué? Porque sang. Porque es el, el verbo en present perfect, right? I did not sing. Ok. Porque estamos refiriendo a alguien que no lo hizo. Ok. I did not sing a song. No canto una canción. It's just correct. Now. I sang a song. Ok. In your song. I can't. Your song is a song. The car. Okay, perfect. Básicamente, chicos, este lo vamos a utilizar. No voy a confundir este con el pasado, el presente perfecto, okay? El presente perfecto. It says one that isn't talking about already and the action. And the other one is just that we do it for remember. I sang a song. You sang a song, ok, y estamos por cada, por cada que, sujeto, que ese es el que se prepara yo, I, you, we, they, he, she, it, ok, o sea, si me lo dicen en affirmative, o si empieza a molestar por afirmativo, esto es lógico afirmativo, if it's talking about the negative, you can ask me about the negative, yes, en, sucede, eh, sucesivamente, ahora, La única diferencia acá que ustedes se me pueden confundir también es this one. El do, el does. Take a look on here. I sing a song. You sing it at song. Yeah, I'm sorry. A song. You sing a song. Yes. Y así sucesivamente. ¿Pero qué sucede cuando son las preguntas? A ver quién se recuerda de las preguntas, chicos. Do you sing Do? a song? Ok. Do dicen aquí. Ajá, ¿cómo se utiliza hacer el do? Do you sing a song? Es solo fue un solo ejemplo al, al azar, ¿verdad? Ok. Ya vamos a explicar bien el por qué, ¿verdad? Pero primero necesito, por favor, que me den los ejemplos. Ahora bien, antes que nada, it says to I sing a song, son preguntas. ¿Por qué les quiero enseñar esto del simple present? Because there is a difference between does in do, remember about that. What is the difference entre does and do? Why? Do is yeah. I, you, we, mm -hmm. they, and does is he, she, it. Excellent. So, does he sing a song? Does she sing a song? Okay, because it's third person. He sings a song. She sings a song. It sings, lo cual 
it plays. Vamos ver, it plays. Plays a song. Ahora, does it play a song? Does she sing a song? Etc. Etc. Okay, I have we have questions here in affirmative and negative. Tenemos preguntas afirmativos y negativos. Okay, that's up to you. How are you going to ask? Si tú cómo lo van a responder y cómo lo van a hacer, verdad? So if you pay attention, si prestan atención si lo logramos ver tal cual, it's not exactly something that you have to study a lot, okay? Tiene que estudiarlo tanto, tal cual, como mucho, ¿verdad? Okay? It's just something that it will help us to get you better. Algo que nos ayudaría facilitadora para hacer mejor esto, ¿verdad? Now, to make questions, always you're going to use, in this case, uh, the other one. Ella fue la que tenía tierra. Ella fue la que te digo. Hola, hola. hola. Chicos. Sí, teacher. Okay, perfect, perfect. Okay. Uh, so. El did. Vamos a empezar con algo con un ejemplo del did mejor. Okay. Let's go into. Voy a hacer preguntas al azar primero, mejor dicho, para que veamos cierta la diferencia. Okay. Uh, Tania, did you play soccer last night? Did you play soccer last night? Yes, I did play soccer last night. Excellent. I did play. Ahorita vamos a ver justo eso quería ver. Gracias. Now, did you play soccer last night? Usted respondió, yes, I did play soccer last night. Chicos, ¿qué piensan ustedes? ¿Todo bien acá? Teacher. Como parte. Teacher, is correct uh, uh, only... Uh, Answer, short answer. Uh, for, for example, did you play soccer last night? Uh, no, I didn't. Or, or yes, I did. Yes, it's correct. Both are correct. De hecho, esto es lo que les quería mencionar ahorita. Okay. Both. Or depend. Or, or, de, or depend. Uh, uh, no, no, no. Yes, I did. It's for a short answer. So I can para respuestas cortas. Okay. Yes, I played soccer last night. Una oración larga. Okay. okay. Questions? Questions. Mm -hmm. Bye. Uh, let me see. Where were you playing soccer last night, Isalvia? Where were you playing soccer last night? Repeat, please, teacher. Where were? Where were you playing soccer last night? Okay, vamos a escribirlo, no se preocupe. Where don't they? Where, 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 Play. Okay. Okay. I will play. Okay. Isabel. I think. I, I was playing so in so the. I was playing in the stadium. 
It's correct. Yeah, I was playing soccer in this place. Okay, where were you playing? Que es la primera pregunta. WH question, right? Where were you? At donde estás? And then comes the ING form. La forma de ING, right? I was playing. Okay, what what was he playing? Okay, lo que está ya está comiendo. One moment, please. ¿A dónde está jugando? Ok. Hello. In the stadium. Is... Yes. I was playing. So... Yes, exactly. The stadium. Ok. Where were you? One it was the WH question. Una de las preguntas del WH. That why the way que por cierto lo tienen como material. I don't think it's just in the first material. Okay. Where were you playing? I don't start when the verdad. Just imagine that probably it was did you receive the flowers today? Okay. Where were you getting? Okay. Teacher, okay. is correct. Uh, uh, question is where were? He answer I was. Yes. Okay, the question could be like, were you playing? Were you drinking? Okay. No one has it. Was you drinking? No, no, no. Okay. ¿Por qué no puede decir was you drinking? Because okay. was is for the third person. No, no. Vamos a ver. Okay, where were you drinking? Vamos a ponerlo aquí. Okay, where were you drinking Mikelov? Okay, I understand bebiendo los Mikelov. Were you drinking uh, Smirnoff? Is just an example. Okay, perfect. It's just an example. Where were you drinking Miklov? I don't estaba viviendo Miklov. Now we have both. Aquí tenemos dos totally different. Were you drinking? Smirnoff, okay. Was you drinking? Okay. Were you drinking or was you drinking? ¿Cuál es la diferencia, chicos? What is, what is the place? Were you drinking or was you drinking? Where is the place? Was, was, where, 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 is, where is question? It was, it's out here. No. The correct is the first one. 
Where is the Where place? Is the place? What no. is the verb to Where be? Is the place? Okay. The fields is a correct. Where were you drinking Smirnoff? Okay. ¿Cuál está correcta entonces? Where was? The first one. Number one. Okay, y ahora explíqueme por qué la primera está correcta. Where was in the second? Ajá. Because you were, exactly, because it says you were. Entonces tienen que fijarse aquí. Auxiliary, then comes were, okay? Were, ¿por qué? Porque estamos hablando de you. Si solo fuera el he, she, and it, and I, it would be different, right? Okay. Where was you drinking Smirnoff? No, it doesn't make sense. No tiene sentido, ¿verdad? Okay. Vamos con otro ejemplo que alguien más me dé otro ejemplo en el simple past. En el simple past, no en el present privacy. Simple past. I went to Dallas in December. Excellent. I went to Dallas. Solo en simple past. Ahorita sí está bien. It's just in the simple past. So, how many are simple for the simple past? You have one question. So, then, una pregunta. Did you want to eat pupusas? Okay, ¿cuál fue la intención en did you want? Cuénteme. Va bien, y la felicito por participar. ¿Cuál fue la intención en did you want? I saw a mm -hmm. sentence, a sentence of the past. Okay. Did you want? Okay, otra vez a la pregunta. Did you want to eat pupusas? Okay. Se refiere a alguien como que pasó. Querías comer pupusas. Mm. Okay. Do you want? Yo, teacher. Yes. En ese caso. I... Ajá, continue, sorry. Did you want? Se está refiriendo querías. Did you want? O. Oh. Yes. Okay, perfecto. Ajá, continue. I went to the supermarket the last Sunday. I went to the supermarket, yes, porque se le went, right? Excellent. ¿Quién más? Me, teacher. Go ahead. Okay. I didn't run in the morning. It's correct. Yes, I didn't run. Excellent. Very good. ¿Por qué? Porque es un negativo. Excellent. Very good. Excellent. Excellent. Okay. ¿Alguien más? Teacher, yes. for example, did you work last weekend? Excellent. ¿Y cómo va a responder? Esa es otra que no les he preguntado. ¿Cómo va a responder? Yes, I did. Yes, I did. <laughs> Or yes, I worked last week. Okay. okay. Ahora, uh, yes, continue. Ahora, el present progressive ya lo han visto. Yes. Okay. I uh, just want to request, quiero pedirle por favor que me hagan solitos a uh, sentence for the present perfect. Okay. Me escriba una oración del present perfect. I mean. How are you Ay, present. Okay. Eh, si pueden también traten de hacer con el person perfect para ver si se entiende el person perfect con el, con el simple past. So if you could please present perfect, simple past, and you. Okay. Hagan a su manera. Present perfect. In the simple past, present perfect. In the simple past. If you already end, se terminaron con los enviamos año. Okay. 
you can just continue then if it's not going in simple future sin dan terminado y ahora tengo dos minutos los paso cada uno okay. Si alguien la tiene, me la puede decir por fin. Teacher, yes. it's correct. It's correct. Do you play the piano? Yes, it's correct. Okay. Do you play the piano? You say that you play the piano, right? Or did you? Do, teacher. Both could be, by the way. I'm going to say two or did. Do you play two. the piano? Yes. Do you play the piano in the present? Puedes tocar el piano. Excellent. Está correcto. Okay. The present perfect teacher puede ser how you ever... Uh, Greeting a novel. Have you ever written a novel? Yes. Alguna vez. Greeting a novel. Yes. Alguna vez. Have you ever written a novel? Yes. Alguna vez has escrito. Alguna vez. Have you ever jumped, Carla Maria? Have you ever jumped what? No, yes. Hello. 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 Perfect. <laughs> I'm completely preoccupied. Okay, perfect. And have you ever, for example, have you ever talked? Usted, Lorena, era usted maestra, verdad? Sí. Yes? Yes. Yes. Okay, perfect. Have you ever taught chemistry? ¿Alguna vez enseñado química? Have you ever taught chemistry? Mm, yeah. Wow. Ya se dieron cuenta, chicos. Tenemos una... <laughs> wow. Yeah. Wow. Ok. Let me see who else. Jessly. Ok, Jessly. Have you ever jumped from a jump, uh, from a bungee jump? Have you ever jumped from a bungee jump? Yes, Lee? No. Okay, solamente quiero mencionar algo rapidito. Eh, van a disculpar, pero de repente se apagó la batería. Pueden ver aquí que estaba y pensé que la había cargado, pero se, se escapó el cablecito y estaba cero. Eh. Okay, sí, so, sí. my apologies, yes. Okay, <laughs> no worries, teacher. Thank you. Okay, Israel, ya que habló. Okay, have you ever jumped from a bungee jump? ¿Alguna vez has saltado de un bungee? Okay. El have you ever se refiere a alguna vez, talking about the present perfect. Solamente les quiero mencionar. Have you ever, alguna vez, as, as. Remember that the present perfect, it is exactly that. I have eaten. Have you ever eaten iguana? Yes, I have eaten iguana. Okay, no, I have not eaten iguana. Now, have you eaten pupusas? Yes, I have eaten pupusas. But have you eaten pupusas today? No, today no. Okay, I am on a diet. Estoy a dieta. I have not eaten pupusas today. 
no he comido pupusa soy. No es lo mismo. Sure. Yes, continue. Yes. For example, have you reading um, this um, a book this month? Otra vez, sí. Have you reading a, a book this month? That would be the present perfect continuous. Have you been reading? Has estado leyendo. Pero ahí va el as. Excelente. Ok. Has comido. Está bien. Have you, have you read? Me mire, le está. Has leído. Ok. Pero usted dijo con el ING, ¿verdad? Have you written? Eso me dio a entender. Yes. Eso sería has estado leyendo. Es lo mismo decir has leído. Have you read? Ok. Diciendo have you read this book? Que decir have you been reading? Has estado leyendo. You can ask. Eso sería otro completamente diferente. Since how long have you been teaching? Has estado enseñando. Ok. It's just an example, right? Entonces, el have you, como les mencionaba anteriormente, era un tiempo indefinido cercano al presente y a veces en pasado. Que de perfecto no tiene nada, ni de presente tampoco, porque hablamos de un pasado. Ok. okay. <laughs> Have you ever? It is for a question. Yes. If I say, yeah, yeah, I have, um, or they have ridden a bicycle, I have eaten meat, that's just a sentence. Okay. Yes, exactly. Now, presten atención a algo clave que usted acaba de decir. Se me ha escapado. Sí, está como para. Usted acaba de decir algo clave que también está como para tiempo, así como también lo podemos utilizar como para un verbo. Ok, one moment, I'll show my screen. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Okay. Uh, have you eaten? Have you drunk? Oh, come on. Ahora. Have you meeting? Past participle de it is eaten. Past participle of drink is drunk. Okay. Past participle of have is had. Have you had chameleons? Yes. I. I've had camellias. Have you had? Son extraño, but remember that one is the auxiliary y el resto es un verb in the past participle. Have you had camellias? And the noise says, yes, I have had. Porque nuevamente es la respuesta. Have is the auxiliary. And the yeah, next one is the bird. Yeah, the sure, right. You will have a soccer game, game to me. Mm -hmm. Se comprende esa parte por si algún día la leen que no se van a confundir, ¿verdad? Have you had? Yes, I have had. Questions? No. Okay, then on STS E2, for favor, please, if you have any questions, let it me know tomorrow, por favor, metale más que todo también 
eh, avancemos en lo que son los ejercicios. Ya se fijaron que tienen que tener un porcentaje. So, please be careful. Please continue. Please study. And if you have any questions, también, just let me know. Okay? Okay. By this moment, see you tomorrow, everyone. See you. So goodbye, guys. Take care. Thank you, teacher. Thank you. Good night. Good night, everyone.